Hello all, welcome to this video on Microprocessor Lab. Today I'll be talking about A279 interfacing with 80864 static display. Let us look into the 7 segment display of 8279. So 7 segment display has 7 segments of LED and a dot point which is a total of 8 LEDs connected in a common cathode or common anode mode. For this case, we'll be using a common cathode display which means for a segment to glow or to be in the on state, a logic high will be applied. 8279 is a programmable keyboard display interface. The clock pin of 8279 is connected from the system clock to generate timing. Pin A0 is used to select whether the given word is a command word or a data word. If A0 is low, it means the data bus contains data word, else it is a command word. Since we are only concerned with the display of A279, we will have three command words. The first is keyboard or display mode setup. Here we have D0 to D7 and A0. The two bits we are concerned here is D3 and D4, which is marked as D, which gives us four display modes. When both are 0, we have 8 8 bit character left entry. When D4 is 0 and D3 is 1, we have 16 8 bit character left entry which is the default we get after a reset. If D4 is 1 and D3 is 0, we get 8 8-bit 8 character write entry. And when both are 1, we have 16 8-bit 8 character write entry. For exa our example, we'll be using the display mode double zero. So the next command word is programmable clock. All timing signals for the operating modes of A279 are generated by an internal prescaler. It divides the external clock by a programmable integer value which is given in the program clock command word to generate the internal frequency. So we have the command word here D0 to D7. A0, D5, D6 and D7 are already fixed. Values from D0 to D4 can be chosen which is a 5 bit binary constant whose value is ranging from 2 to 31. In our case, we will be choosing this value as 13, filling it in binary. Combining it with these three bits, we get the value as 2D, which we will be using as the program clock divider control word. Then we have the write display RAM command. That is, in order to write data into the display RAM, we need to set A279 in write display RAM mode, which is this control word. Where A0, D5, D6 and D7 are already set. The values from D0 to D4 can be programmed. Now if D4 bit is set, it means that the display RAM address is incremented after each write command to display RAM. And these 4 bits in our case are selected as 0000, which is usually marking the starting location of display RAM. Now combining these 4 bits with the rest 4, we get the value as 90, which is the control word here. Then we have the component diagram of A279. This is how it looks. It has 3, 3 is to 8, decoder or demultiplexer. This is an 8 NPN Darlington driver. Then we have the A279 chip, the display, keyboard and the 50 pin bus which is connected through a flat round cable OEN mail connector to the bus of 8086. Now this is the 50 pin bus along with the signals which are connected to each pin. Then we have the 7 segment display connection of 8279. In 7 segment display, we have these 7 segments along with the decimal point which is used when we are trying to display a number with decimal point in it, else it is always zero. We have two COM connections which are given values based on the type of display. In our case, it's common cathode, so both of these will be grounded. Displaying any character in seven second display so is controlled by A, B, F, G, E, C, and D. Now, in our example, we will be trying to display the alphabets from A to G. For this, we'll develop a segment decoder table where we'll write in all the eight segments. DP will be zero in our case because we are not using the decimal point anywhere. 
and convert this into the corresponding hex code which is transferred to A279. So let us look into the alphabet A. We see D is 0, all the others are high. So D is 0 and rest is high. We divide these 8 bits into groups of 2 and convert them into corresponding hex code. So it is 7, 7. Then we take B. We see that all these segments are high here. So we mark it accordingly and we get the hex value 7, F. This is repeated for all the alphabets till G. Now moving on to the program. These are the program line numbers. Almost all of these instructions are 2 byte except increment and halt. Then this is the machine code that is obtained after assembling these instructions. Also note that the command words will be written to the port 22H and the data port will be 20H. Registers used here are AL, BX, SI, CX and the instructions used are move, out which will be outputting to this particular port a particular value which is stored in either the register AX or AL. Since the control words here are 8 bit, I will be using the register AL. Then we have increment and loop not 0 which will loop a particular set of instructions until the value of CX is not 0. And finally, halt to mark the end of the program. So the procedure here is, we will set the display mode, then the program clock divider and set the write display RAM mode. Then we access the starting address of the segment decoder table and we set the source index register and the counter access each element and write it to the data port which is 20H. Along with it, the source index register is incremented accordingly. This is looped until the CX value is not 0 and finally the program is halted. So the code will be moving double zero, which is the display mode to AL and moving the content of AL to the port 22H since it's a command. Again, the program clock divider Control word is 2D, which is moved to AL, which is written to the port 22H because it is command again. Then we have the write display RAM control word, which is 90, moved to AL and from there to the port number 22H. Then we take the starting address of the segment decoder table, store it in BX, set the value of SI as 0000, then set the counter as 7, then accessing value starting from the register vx incrementing si because we will be incrementing si each time we access an element move it to al and from al it is moved to the data port which is 20h we increment si then we loop until the zero bit is not set because this instruction will automatically decrement the value of cx after each looping and if it is not zero move to this address and this is repeated until the value of ZX is 0. When CX is 0, the program will be halted. Now, these are the locations where the content of this segment decoder table will be stored. This from address 041E to 0424. All of these values are 8 bit values. Now, we will be looking into the demo. This is 8279 connected through a bus to 8086. Switch it on. Then, as usual, programs being written, we type in A, convert it to assemble mode, type in the starting address 0400, and type in the program we just discussed before. First of all, we set the control word for display mode, which is 00, and write it to the port 22H, which is meant for commands. Then we move the control word for program clock divider which is 2D. Again written to the command port which is double 2. Then we have the write display RAM mode which is 90 which is moved to the port 22H.
then we move the starting address of segment decoder table to the register bx then we set the source index register as 0000 and set the counter cx as 7 then we move the value from location pointed by bx plus si to the register al from al the content will be moved to the data port which is 20h then we increment the value of source index register and this is looped until the zero bit is not set that is until cx is not zero then we finally halt the program now by pressing m and giving the address of the segment decoder table which was taken as 041e we need to enter the values x codes which is double seven 7f 39 3f 79 71 and 7d then we execute the program by pressing g and the starting address of the code which is 0400 and executing we see the Alphabets display A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.